All right. So this question is based upon deep learning for biomedical signal processing, and it's for temporal convolution neural network. All right. So first we will import all these library, and uh, it will import like uh, precision score, which will be used to predict the uh, the particular accuracy inside the model. Then we will have the weight and variables and arima model also so the first question is utilizing the arima model it is having three parts arima model is having three part the first one is moving average and the second one is auto aggressive and the third one is arima model with different values all right so first we are running this code and it is having pdq if the first value is p is 0 and second value d is for is equal to 1 means we are importing the d value all right okay ekg okay oh sorry i have not uh, uh, this one uh, executed this code so this is our data and ekg is having this this these uh, rows this uh, this numerical data this floating point data then we have successfully run this uh, uh, moving average model then we are going to predict what is the fitting model okay it is having 890 value all right now the second one is having one here p d q so p is one d is 0 means we are having 884 value now we are going to run this arma model with the value of p is equal to 5 q is equal to 1 given inside the quotient means we are having d is equal to 0 so which is having 805 all right so which means we are having the different value 885 shown below below worksheet okay so denoting p value okay one of the basis value pdq denoting the successful value so arma model with works with best because it is having the higher value okay so uh, it it should be aggressive model all right All right so what did we, what's the value here we are getting we are getting 884 here and i am copying this value inside the answer is 884 all right so it, it is 805 something seven five six seven all right so it is eight eight four right so moving ahead we are having pros and cons of this uh, uh, these three models uh, which was said inside the question what is the pros and cons of the respective models then the com temporal convolution model so it is having this this uh, uh, particular uh, particular length what is the length of the data then we are going to train the data uh, uh, this this model is not required for the particular training set okay then we are having tcn it is successfully run then we are having going to 2a temporal learn these are the convolutional net network relu initial and then different so this is done with 2a now 2b is going to part the training part and you need a gpu we are going to turn the gpu part and argument are going to use the cuda cuda is the part of deep learning it is having it requires cuda device having nvidia and different kind of hardware as well 
all right so it is going to run with certain epochs with certain backward values it is going to evaluate the average loss validation set you can see that it's running one by one all right it is having the value one by one okay Okay, so it is done till value triple zero four six. Now we are going to show how it it's having zero two. Yes, it is having zero point zero one seven two, but it is given that average should be average is less than zero point one two. All right. So now average is this one. So now I'm going to install pip install keras, that is importing all the supporting file already and it is going to install over here then we are having class temporal which is having certain values so it is requiring the certain value with certain convolution network and going to train the further batch size because we have given the batch size so it is going to train the certain features all right so now coming to towards the uh coming towards the uh, the drive file so by running running this code this egg net data set will be downloaded so i am downloading from the uh downloading the data set which is given to me which is provided to me and uh, by running this data set i'll import from the yeah it's a data set dot zip all right i'll just download it and at my pc yes it's downloaded and it is going to show in folder yeah so it's just unzip it i'm going to extract it here So it will export all these values. So me uh, so it's in the format of .m, which is the extension of MATLAB file. All right. So it is having data of different features or different images. So once it is done, so we will have the we, we can import the data set in our question number three a. So it it's going to export or unzip i hope it's uh, now yeah it's uh, yeah okay let me make control x stop and on then control shift n then your data set and unzip it extract it here yeah now x and y are data set so now coming back to the collab it will ask enter the authorization code so i'm going to yes this is the authorization code I'm stuck here because I don't have this authorization code. It will be provided by your uh, university or somewhere else. So I am going to import the data set, the sample data. Okay. I'm going to import. So on the left hand side, that would be sample data. Uh, it's a by default folder. And inside this folder, we will import the data. So where is the location of our data set that is X and Y. All right. So I'm going to import it here. Okay. Click on OK. Then I'm going to click on these three points. Okay. It will have Ymet copy path and 
just copy it okay and then capital x and run this code so why it's showing error because i don't have this authorization code so this is the first issue all right so it's successfully imported you can see that my y and x data is very large so it's still it's importing from the particular data set all right so it's very large these two files are very large x and y so it's uh, just uploading we will have to wait till these x and y dot mat which is extension of matlab file is going to so let me find uh, let me tell you that if you know the enter your authorization code kindly give the inputs here give your inputs give the authorization code or ask from your university or professor that what's the authorization code all right so almost done yeah it's almost done you can see waiting process almost So it's very big data x and y. So then, once it is uploaded, we can print the data. Okay, you can see that it is showing MATLAB five point zero MAT perform post fix and October and so on. It's created on October twenty means Friday October two, twenty twenty. So it's showing the features and attributes of the data as well okay so i am waiting till this whole data x dot met y dot met is going to import in our code in our library so once this authorization code is not known to me means i cannot execute this data means i cannot I, I i am just importing this data but cannot train the model in the up, upcoming stages upcoming uh, lines okay yes it will take time don't skip even a single line in your file if you are skipping even a single lines means next line will show will, will put error on your screen it's still uploading x dot mate y dot mate
Yeah. Okay, there should be some error. Dot met x dot met. Tables. Okay, so it should be these two lines are uh, connected with each other. Sorry. Why? All right, yes, it's successfully run. Now I'm going to print the data. Now I'm going to moving the labels, print labels. I have included these codes, print data items. What is the data item inside the files? Then what are the data keys? The header, version. Then what is the label keys? Label and data are the variables. Then we have EEG net module, which is given inside the model. Then we have evaluation the function with certain parameter. Then print the dimensions of X. Okay. X is not defined. Okay. There should be capital X. I must have skip this capital X. Okay. No issue. there should be something different okay then 3a importing numpy x i think i have skipped capital x return x yes it is there capital x it should be model capital x Print x is not defined in y. It is not defined. It's here only. Data. Data. In G. Capital X. Return x. Model. And then I think it's small x. Now it's capital X. Light, let it be. It's a 3A. Yeah, it will show the error. So now I have divided into the different parts. And the batch size is 16. And then what is the different epochs? Now I'm going to train and test your data set. Okay, it is going to calculate the epoch, train, validation, and certain what is the test accuracy. It will show the test accuracy is 0.44. Right now I have split the data with the certain data set. It is showing the error because we have not defined the certain values, certain, uh, certain x value and y value. Okay, so in the in this code, they have defined one more batch size and the certain epochs will be with the different model. So now this text is different. All right, this is how we done this code.